Hello everyone! I am currently traveling in Kerala uh, and I thought it would be such a great occasion to talk about things that I love about Indian culture and honestly my list is very long but today I will be talking just about five so let's get started let's start with the reason why I will never be bored with Indian culture and I'm always excited to come to India and it's diversity even though I have visited India multiple times there is always something new I learn about Indian culture and about India every region of the country is unique and beautiful in its own way and right now I'm visiting South for the first time and I was so surprised how everything is different here than the north. The attire and the food and even the language, which is kind of crazy. But you know what? Even though India is such a diverse country, there are some things that unites everyone. And one of them is cricket. And I will be honest with you, uh, before I met Ishan, I, have, I had no idea what cricket was because in Europe everyone is just crazy about football. But since I watched the first game, I became a true fan. You know, I just love that patriotic ambience and people cheering and dancing after every boundary or six. It's like such a cool experience, I love it. Another thing I love about Indian culture is the way how Indians share food. Let me explain. When you order food in Europe, uh, you just get one dish that you ordered, right? This is your meal. But in India, everyone gets an empty plate and all the dishes that were ordered are placed in the middle of the table so that everyone can try everything. And this makes so much sense as you get to try all the dishes instead of one and also I feel like it just brings people closer you know what I mean? yeah that's why we have this huge platter right in front of us which we're gonna share yeah and besides I also noticed that every time any of my Indian friends would have uh, any snack like a chocolate bar or fruit they would always offer me a piece of it and I find it so sweet yeah, in India, sharing is caring. Yeah, sharing is really caring. Okay, this is what yeah. you do? Yeah. Now I have to mix it up? Mix it up with hands. I'm glad I have short nails. Okay. Yeah, and use your thumb to push it in. Mm. It's fun. Oh, spicy. <laughs> and as we are talking about food, we are smoothly moving to my next point, which is spicy food. Before I tried Indian cuisine, I had absolutely zero tolerance for uh, spicy food. I would never have it ever but Indian cuisine made me fall in love with it and now I think even some of my Indian friends are impressed how much spice I can tolerate nearly as much as them not as much as but I'm close it's interesting how food can make you cry and sweat but still you feel like eating more and more and I just finished this South Indian tally which was so delicious but also so spicy but so so satisfying As you can see, I'm back in Delhi. I'm wearing all these jackets because it's so cold today, even though it's sunny, it's a beautiful day, but it's, it's really cold. And you're from Poland. Yes, I'm from Poland, but I'm always even more cold than Ishan. So the last but not least is love for animals. And this for sure has a lot to do with Hinduism as it teaches respect for uh, all animals, but especially for cows. And that's why. India probably has the biggest amount of vegetarians in the whole world, right? Yeah. I was a vegetarian for 18 years of my life. Cows are such a beautiful creatures. I find it charming how they are wandering around the streets and uh, they are so well taken care of and always fed. But that's nothing new. 
everyone knows that Indians worship cows, right? But I notice many more signs of love and affection for animals in India. For example, in our neighborhood in Delhi, every stray dog is wearing a winter sweater. Yeah. Which was uh, so, like, I when I saw it for the first time, I thought it's so sweet. And it didn't even came to my mind that these are stray dogs, because why would you give a sweater to a stray dog? But You always do, they're But cold. this is how it is. And I even noticed a few goats wearing a sweater. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's very interesting. And also I remember uh, when once uh, we went to this uh, place to feed the monkeys on Hanumanji's day. Yeah, it was a Tuesday. It's uh, the it day of Hanumanji. It was Tuesday, of course. We went there in the morning and uh, we brought a bunch of bananas and those monkeys, they were not even interested in our bananas. They were not even appealing to them because they were so well fed that day. Yeah, everyone goes on a Tuesday to feed the monkeys, like many people. Yeah, it was fun though. So, should we go feed some cows now? Okay, let's I find them. I brought a few bananas. You want to feed a cow? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, Veronica. You will feed the cow now? Yes. Oh my god, you don't peel the banana. Cow loves the peel. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, she's coming! Oh. She's eating it. She, she will yeah. eat the peel? Yeah, she loves it. Cow loves it. <laughs> Give her one more. Just okay. straight away like that. She's so beautiful! Can I touch her? Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's it. That's it. Bye! Okay, so I told you my five favorite things about Indian culture, even though it was so difficult to choose just five. But uh, I wanted to ask you, Ishan, what is your favorite thing about Indian culture? Indian culture? Okay, as I'm Indian, I will be a bit biased. I love everything. Mm -hmm. For me, it's the best, but mm -hmm, okay. If I have to choose just one thing besides uh, the things you mentioned already, I'll say festivals. We have oh. the coolest festivals, I guess. Right, right. I also think so, but the thing is that I didn't attend all of the festivals in India yet. Right, you attended Diwali once? I think just Diwali, no, twice. But I didn't have an occasion to attend Holi. I was always so excited to attend Holi, but I never had an occasion. So I really hope that you enjoyed my video. And now I really want to know what is your one favorite thing about Indian culture. So please do let me know in the comments and see you in the next one.